Hello everyone and welcome back. So what's on tap for today? Well, we've got another one of our reaction video series. This time it's Marjorie Taylor Greene and she is questioning those former executives from Twitter. They're on the hot seat. Those worms, they're squirming. That's right, folks. We're going to get to all of that in the next few seconds. But before we do so, if it's your first time here and you haven't done so, subscribe to the channel. And if you've been watching this for a long time and haven't, We'd love for you to subscribe as well. Hit that notification bell, like, share, and follow us. Comment below. Let us know what you think of this video. Let's get to that video right now. And by the way, you're watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I'm your guest host for today. My name is Dr. Nasser. Let's get to that video right now. For five minutes. Thank you, Mr. Chairman, Mr. Baker, Ms. Gaddy, Mr. Roth, and Ms. Navaroli. You can consider your speech canceled during my time because you canceled mine. You see, oh, right off the bat. <laughs> boom, boom, and boom. Love it. You permanently banned my personal Twitter account, and it was my campaign account also. So let's talk about election interference, shall we? January 2nd, 2002, you permanently banned my Twitter account. This was the account that I would put my campaign ads on, raise money on, fight back when attacked with lies, and be able to talk to my voters in my district. But you banned it. And then let me explain. My account was not reinstated until November 21st, 2022. That was after my election on November 8th. You know, at your company, or your former company, where you worked, Twitter employees, over 98% of them, donate to Democrats. So while you coordinated with DHS, the FBI, the CIA, our government, and outside groups to permanently ban, shadow ban conservative Americans and candidates like me and the former president of the United States, President Donald J. Trump, you were censoring and wrongfully violating our First Amendment free speech rights. Guess what? None of you hold security clearances. None of you are elected. And none of you represent 750,000 people like I do. Let's explain. 52 United States Law 10101. No person shall intimidate, threaten, coerce, or attempt to stop any other person for the purpose of interfering with their rights to vote or to vote as he may choose. You didn't shadow ban or permanently ban my Democrat opponent. No, you did that to me. And that was wrong, and it was against the law. You see, not only that, was it, a, was it me that you violated my First Amendment rights? You violated countless conservative Americans. These were doctors that were trying to tell the truth about COVID. Doctors that were having success treating people with ivermectin that you all would not allow to be talked about on your platform. These were parents complaining about their school boards, teaching gender lies in their schools, biological males entering their daughter's bathrooms and sports. These were also people questioning the 2020 election. And guess what? That's Americans' First Amendment right. These were people talking about voting machines. You know what? Democrats did that in 2019, before the 2020 election. On Twitter, people could question elections such as 2016, saying Hillary won, but in 2020, no one could question elections saying Trump won. You abused the power of a large corporation, big tech, to censor Americans. I just want you to take a look at this, and as you watch here, look at these people here. You have fake writing over here. This idiot over here. Take a look at Roth. I mean, look at his face. Look at Gaddy. She's absolutely, and you just watch when the camera goes on them. They're absolutely, you know, I mean, they're scared right now. I don't know what kind of teeth and what kind of punishment uh, is going to happen. I don't know if indictments are going to, you know, fall upon these people or penalties or any kind of stuff for perjuring themselves, for colluding with government. I hope there's something out of there. There usually never is. It's usually lower people on the totem pole. It's never the people higher up. So it's nice to see them squirm and nice to see them, you know, um, uh, 
look like they're being sort of um, just, uh, you know, castigated and chastised and in front of the whole nation and knowing what they did. But at the end of the day, if these people aren't put in jail or indictments aren't, you know, handed down against these people that were the top echelon of the company that was stifling the voices of Americans, then you know what, in the end, these people have skated, but we still have a long time to go before all that. But like I said, just take a look at these faces. We go through these videos and see the body language and how scared they look and when they're answering their questions as well. Let's continue. And Marjorie Taylor Greene, just laying it out step by step by step by step. Beautiful job so far. And you want to know something? Guess what? I'm so glad that you're censored down. I'm so glad you've lost your jobs. Thank God Elon, Elon Musk bought Twitter. And you know what? Let's talk about something a little bit. <laughs> Unbelievable. Thank God Elon Musk at Twitter. Thank God you guys lost your job. I mean, that, that's what we want to say, right? We want to say that. We want to shout that out off the, off the rooftops, you know? We do it. We scream at the television. We scream at our, you know, our PCs. We scream and say, they need to lose their job. Come on. And she says exactly what we're feeling. Oh, unbelievable. Great job. Further. It's amazing to me, Mr. Roth, as the head and trust of safety at Twitter, your ability, or should I say inability, to remove child porn. Now, here's something that disgusts me about you. And you're deter- Take a look right there. Take a look at his face. <laughs> look at his eyes. He is unbelievable. I mean, they- come on, folks. You know what? I mean, I know people are going to say something different, but you know what? Body language. Look at this. How tense. And his eyes. I mean, he's getting hammered by Marjorie Taylor Greene. He's getting hammered by her. And it's, oh, this is just brutal, absolutely brutal. Anyways, let's continue. Doctoral dissertation entitled Gay Data. You argued that minors should have access to Grindr, an adult male gay hookup app. Minors? Really? You know, Elon Musk took over Twitter and he banned 44,000 accounts that were promoting child porn. You permanently banned my Twitter account, but you allowed child, child porn all over Twitter. That's because this guy's gay. He's gay. He doesn't give a crap. He's great. He's gay. And he's, as she said, allowed minors to have access to grinder a grinder app i mean folks if that's not pornography if that's not pedophilia i don't know what is but you know what somehow he's protected that's just sickening absolutely sickening and you know what thank god for marjorie taylor green to bring this up so that everybody can hear it and see it and know that that's absolutely true, that that's what this guy was doing, that he allowed the porn sites on Twitter to continue to flourish. Elon Musk comes in, shuts them down to the tune of, like she said, 44,000 plus pornographic sites on Twitter that this clown, this gay clown, allowed to remain open, along with Vijay Agati and the rest of these uh, worms you know, that are on the panel right now. Twitter had become a platform, you said, connecting queer young adults. You also wrote on Twitter in 2010, can high school students ever Watch meaningfully consent to sex with their teachers? In 2021, while you were the director of trust and safety on Twitter, an underage boy and his mother announced a lawsuit against Twitter because, because Twitter was benefiting from and refused to remove a lewd video featuring this boy and another minor. That is repulsive. But you violated me. What, what were my tweets? Okay, let's talk about them. I was talking about the deaths being reported on VAERS. By the way, that's on the CDC website. I was also saying that I didn't think the in, any entity should enforce a non-FDA-approved non vaccine or mask. 
Guess what? A lot of people agreed with me, but you called that COVID misinformation. By the way, I'm a member of Congress and you're not. I also said the controversial COVID-19 vaccines should not be forced on our military. You want to know something? Republicans stop that in the NDAA. L ladies, time has expired. <laughs> Just see this right here. Take a look at this face right here. You want to talk about somebody that's just been spanked? Although maybe he liked being spanked. I don't know. <laughs> but anyways, this guy was just absolutely, she crushed him devastatingly, unbelievably concise, precise, you know, putting everything down. And it was sort of layered. It just built upon itself. So whoever put that together for Marjorie Taylor Greene, kudos to her and her staff you know, for just getting this thing out there, each and every one of these different congressmen and congresswomen that are trying to basically bring this out to the forefront. Because right now, all it's been, it's been on Twitter, it's been reported a few other things. Now you've got people that are going to be watching this, like on C-SPAN, on other stations. Hopefully you get it, you know, we come out here, do our reaction to it to basically, you know, add our... Um, you know, uh, I guess uh, add, add some insult to their injury, right? I mean, that's what we're trying to do. And it is just uh, every one of these uh, congressmen and congresswomen from the Republican side that are coming out there, you know, they're going to be, they are going to be, they're, they're going to be gone after. Oh, you think the legacy media, you think the alphabet media, the um, media mafia cartel, you know, they think MSNBC and CNN are going to let this go? Oh, no, they're going to report this completely different. Mark my words, you know what's going to happen. They're going to spin this story incredibly in favor of these executives. That's exactly what they're going to do. That's what the legacy media is going to do, but that's not what we're going to do. We're going to give you the facts. We're not going to spin it. We're going to tell you exactly what we think. Anyways, we appreciate you taking the time to watch. You've been watching the Dr. Nasser Shake Show. I've been your guest host. My name is Dr. Nasser. Subscribe to this video. Subscribe to our channel. Like, share, and follow us. Hit that notification bell. And I'll leave you with my final thought, which is when you're right, you're right. And when you're left, you're wrong. We'll see you again next time, folks. Take care and stay safe.